Yeah, Housing Commissioner Alice Kennedy Abajoy told me this afternoon that that Stricker Street vacant is really emblematic of a larger city problem. More than 15,000 vacant buildings here in Baltimore. It was privately owned, much like 90%, more than 90% of the city's vacant buildings, including this stretch here along North Patterson Park Avenue. That means there's a lot of funding and legal barriers standing in the way of addressing them. It's of utmost importance that we think about um, how to prevent a tragedy like that occurred on Monday happening again. City Housing Commissioner Alice Kennedy told WJZ Wednesday addressing vacant properties is her key priority. We know the urgency here. Kennedy says they've been focused on that community in West Baltimore with block level planning. We've been undergoing receiverships, we've been undergoing tax sale foreclosure, we've been undergoing uh, relocations, and unfortunately, um, we had not made it to this block. Um, as part of that. Part of that work, turning vacant properties into livable homes, was highlighted Wednesday morning with the announcement of $20 million from J.P. Morgan Chase investing in West Baltimore redevelopment. These spaces are sacred, they are valuable, and they are worth redeeming. Parity Homes will receive $2 million with the goal of creating 200 black and Latina homeowners in West Baltimore. Its CEO, Bree Jones, says demand is high for their previously vacant homes despite their boarded up windows and the broken glass, that these neighborhoods are intrinsically valuable. Even when bank appraisals say that these homes are worth less than the cost to build them. Mayor Scott Wednesday said resources are needed to hold property owners responsible. We have to figure out how to more rapidly have these things go through the system and the court system and how we can hold these owners of these properties more responsible. Back live now, we learned that that uh, 205 South Stricker Street had four 311 service requests on it in the past year. Three of those from city employees. They range from sanitation to high grass and weeds and rats. Again, we tried reaching the owners of this property who live out of state by phone and email multiple occasions. So far, we have not heard back. For now, reporting live in East Baltimore at 5 tonight, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.